Business leaders and government officials from Africa and the United States turned out Tuesday night here in Washington for the official opening of a U.S.-Africa Business Summit sponsored by the Corporate Council on Africa. My colleague Ndimuyake Mwakariede has more on the story. The first day of the CCA's seventh biannual summit kicked off with high energy performances at an elegant gala. <laughs> President Denis Sassou Nguesso of the Republic of the Congo and John Ping, chair of the African Union Commission, were in the crowd. Their presence signifies the important role they want America to play in Africa's economic development. Obiegeli Ezekwesili is the World Bank's Africa region vice president. I think it's important for Africa to continue to have international platforms uh, that um, enable the deepening of partnership with uh, uh, economies um, that are as great as the United States economy. It's a dominant economy still in the world. And uh, the opportunities to penetrate uh, into the African uh, market has not in any way been explored even not at the tip of the iceberg of it. The percentage of U.S. investment in Africa is in the single digits compared to China's more than 40 percent. Issues of governance and lack of capacity are often cited as obstacles to investment, but as Ekwesile says, African governments have made significant strides in the last decade to create a conducive investment climate. Issues that have to do with runaway inflation over on the continent. Many more of the countries understand that prudent policies, prudent uh, you know, fiscal policies are important to stabilize the economy because private capital cannot stand environments of upheaval. Foreign investors to Africa are typically drawn to extractive industries such as mining and oil drilling. Botswana, with an abundance of minerals, particularly diamonds, profits greatly. But the country's ambassador to the U.S., Cesar Lecoa, says Botswana wants to diversify its economy. Botswana, therefore, is uh, hoping that uh, through this summit, uh, U.S. investors will come to Botswana uh, to help you know, identify other growth areas apart or away from minerals. Uh, through which we can uh, create jobs. Earlier in the day, various countries held forums to showcase their investment potential. This panel represents Namibia. Agricultural sector, we are a large um, uh, producer of beef. Uh, we obviously are looking at getting our beef into the U.S. market, but there are opportunities for additional processing in the agricultural sector. These Namibian women are attending their first CCA summit through the help of their Ministry of Trade and Industry. If I can have maybe people who are interested so that I can export my products to the States. That's what I'm looking for. The women who are making them, they are really old women. Uh, they are unemployed women and then they are the ones who are as well uneducated and then you are assisting them to create self-employment in order to alleviate poverty in Namibia. Estavo Mambo is from Angola. My company is a partnership with an American company. We just make sure that, you know, with other Angolan business that, that can follow the same route in getting business as a, uh, in a partnership with, with American. Economist Joseph Wambia of Kenya says the CCA summit is beneficial for Africans who get to represent their own interests. This is how you attract investment in your country, by coming out and uh, letting people know what's on offer and seeing who their partners will be and engage with and also making it cost effective for them because it is expensive to go out there and uh, look for investment. Uh, in today's competitive world, you can't sit on your laurels. You have to come and say, listen, this is what we're selling. CCA president and CEO Stephen Hayes announced a partnership with South Africa during the summit and also CCA's involvement in the upcoming 2010 World Cup tournament. Dimiake Mokalielie, VOA News. Thanks very much, Dimiake, for that interesting report.